Hi guys, I wanted to introduce you to the artist Alexander Calder. His friends knew him as Sandy and he was born in 1898. He actually came from a long line of artists. His mother was a painter and his father was a sculptor and his grandfather was also a sculptor, but they actually discouraged him from becoming an artist because they knew how hard it was to make a living choosing as a career. So he studied to become a mechanical engineer, but then as an adult decided that art was really what his calling was. He is the father of the mobile. If you see any mobiles hanging like this, he was the first person who ever made those. And it was totally a unique idea that no one else had thought of before. This is known as kinetic art, which means art in motion. Alexander made his mobiles out of wire and steel, but we're going to stick to items that we can find around home. I chose to go with sticks for my base, yarn to tie it onto, but you could also use floss. And then you need something to make your shapes out of. So if you just have cardboard from a cereal box, that would work great. And then you can use markers to color it. I have these colored file folders, so I'm going to go ahead and use those. So through the magic of video, go ahead and get some circular shapes. But you could cut your cardboard into any shape that you would like. Next, I'm going to lay out where I'd like my sticks to go. You can use fewer or more if you want. Just remember, you don't want to get crazy big. Then I'm going to lay out my shapes. You don't have to do circles. Uh, I chose to have some of mine so they had multiple shapes hanging in one spot. And then go ahead and attach those. You can do this a couple different ways. I chose to use yarn. I just threaded it onto a weaving needle I had on hand to make it a little bit easier. But you could poke holes with the scissors and weave it through. Or you could even just uh, staple these on if you have a stapler handy. Next, I tied all my shapes about where I wanted those to hang from the stick. You do not have to do them all from the ends. You could have them closer to the middle if you'd like, but I kind of like how it looks when you have some of them hanging further away from other ones. You could also have these hanging at any different length that you would like. At the end, when I was done, I went ahead and put a little dot of glue on each one of these to help them hold a little bit better. You could do that now or you could do that later like I did. And then also, just to keep it looking kind of clean, go ahead and trim any of that extra yarn that you have hanging off. This next part can be a little bit tricky. What we want to do is find the balancing point or the fulcrum, which means the point at which you can go ahead and place your finger and then it will balance perfectly. Yes, just like that. So you're going to go ahead and tie a double knot here. Uh, try to get it right at that spot where you had it because if it's a little bit too far to one side or the other, you'll lose that point and it won't balance the way that you want it to. So you'll have to do some fine adjusting to make sure you have it where you want it. Okay, then just take that and tie it wherever you want in the other stick. It doesn't matter where you tie it on this one. Remember, we're starting from the bottom and working our way up. Again, I'm finding that fulcrum point. There we go. Tie a string right there. Voila. Then tie on the next stick. Again, doesn't matter where you tie it on this one. I'm making sure that I tie double knots as I go so that they're not slipping. And then you also want to kind of trim up your loose strings. You'll see in just a second whenever it jumps to the next step how I trim mine. There you go. See how it looks a little bit cleaner that way? I'm working my way slowly up to the top. It's going to start getting a little bit heavier as you go. So if you notice that it's hard for you to hold, it helps to have a parent or a sibling to help hold it. And then one of you do the tying. Once you get your way closer to the top, just make sure that you aren't letting those other little parts slip or you don't drop it because that can kind of mess up where your fulcrum point is hitting on each one of those sticks. And each one is dependent on the one below it to kind of figure out where it needs to balance. Don't get stressed out either if you're trying to tie it and it's trying to slip around on you. Uh, you'll notice on mine, whenever I do it in just a second, it kind of flops down. See, just like that. Not a big deal. I just go back, adjust it a little bit to get it where I want it. When you're all done, find a spot that it can hang and be safe and get a little bit of breeze perhaps so you can have your beautiful kinetic sculpture in motion inspired by the artwork of Alexander Calder. See you guys.